Johnny Peter here. Today I'm going to show you how a holographic site works. So let's go. All right. So how holographic sites work? Oh, I can see myself. Um, it's uh, pretty damn simple, really. So it projects a hologram right here. You can see that little tiny shape onto a piece of glass and then that piece of glass which is really reflective as you can see um, reflects the hologram into the user's eye so as you can clearly see if my phone will focus which it might not actually so i might have to end the video um, if it will so yeah you can clearly see the hologram right here and every single holographic site is parallax free, meaning that the reticle will not go off target even if I put my camera off to the side and offset it to the axis of the um, hologram itself. So basically saying, if you look to the side, the hologram is still on the target. If you look to the other side, it's still on the target. And no matter how I move my camera, or in real life, your eyeballs, the hologram will stay on the target at all times, no matter what you do. And this really aids with um, aiming. So this model that I have is a completely legit, totally real EOTech right here. And the internal structure looks something like this. There's two of them, okay, but this, this one uses... Um, a mirror at the bottom and a mirror at the top and a mirror right here this is what i do not have okay but this is what i do have simply a led with a um cutout for the hologram then a piece of glass and then a secondary piece of glass and how i was able to tell that i have this model right here well if you look um at the very top right here at the very middle you can see that it's completely flat there is no mirror whereas in this model there is a mirror so i have um this one sorry this model right here um what's the difference um um i really don't know i, I can't tell you that i'm not gonna lie but uh they pretty much do the exact same thing these two models okay okay now i'm gonna show you the parallax yet again so I have the holographic side set completely still and let me just focus that and look where it's um, the reticle is on the very corner of that wooden box right here. Let me just slowly move the camera and look at that. The reticle stays completely still on that corner. No matter how I move it, no matter how far or, or, or close I get it, it perfectly st uh, stays still on that target look how cool that looks even on the very edge right here even on the very edge it stays still on the target so yeah that's how the parallax works yeah look at that i can move it however i like and it stays on the okay so um how you turn it on it's very simple you have these two buttons right here you can press either one and it turns on right here and to um, turn it off you just simply have to press both of them at the same time so well, let me do that yeah it goes off and these buttons right here they are for um, <sighs> what do you call the brightness brightness down brightness up so I have it I think set to max brightness right now so um, let me just focus the camera for the 18th time already um, well okay so I'm going to lower the brightness now. Going down, getting darker, and that's it. And now getting brighter. And max brightness right here. Very simple like that. This button is to change the, uh, the color right here. Let me just press it. Green, red green whoops sorry green red green and red right here simple like that okay on the other side we have adjustment screws right here one right here and one right there so basically what these things do um 
so you can see the word down right here so if you turn this to the right the um, reticle the hologram will move um, upwards meaning you need to um, lower your rifle and so you will shoot a little bit more downwards the same thing with this screw right here it moves the hologram to the left so now you need to um, move your rifle to the right and the bullets will go fly more to the right so these are for the uh, adjustment right here so next up we have the battery there's a little bit um, of a wire so you wouldn't lose this cab but basically you just screw this open put a um, 3.7 volt rechargeable battery and you are good to go so what else so yeah oh yeah this is the um, locking mechanism right here so this goes for the um, standard um, Picatinny rail and basically how this works so we have this locking lug right here and we also have this lever right here so you press it inwards that releases it and look at that look how the locking lug um, goes outwards let me show that one more time so this is in the locked position so you basically press this locking lug moves out of the way and you can put uh, pull this holographic sight off the Picatinny rail really simple and genius mechanism to be honest with you so uh yeah i don't know what else i can say about this holographic side that's pretty much it so one last thing let me just um go outside and show you this in the natural lighting okay so here we are at my range and let me just turn it on and oh my god the reflection is messing up a little bit and you can see right there how it looks look at that how it stays on these how it stays on the target no matter how I move it yeah look at that so um yeah that is pretty much it all right and that is pretty much it about this um, holographic site um, works fine pretty cool technology to be honest this is my first um, holographic site um i'm really geeking out about this stuff right here because i've never had anything like this and oh yeah it also came in a plastic box i don't know i'll just mention it why not um yeah that's pretty much it do the impossible make it happen and i'll see you next time peace